Jeremy Renner has spoken out for the first time since his snowplowing accident on New Year's Day. Let's check it out. It turns out that the Hawkeye star was involved in a snowplowing accident where he was trying to clear his driveway and his neighbors. A rep stated, moving snow from his driveway on Sunday so that his family members could depart his home after spending New Year's together. He was also helping clear out the snow of his neighbor's home, as everyone up there had been without power for 24 hours, and there had been a large snowfall. So he was helping everyone in trying to clear out the snow so people could get out. Prior to that, Jeremy's rep stated, Jeremy's family would like to express their gratitude to the incredible doctors and nurses looking after him. Truckee Meadows Fire and Rescue, Washoe County Sheriff, Reno City Mayor Hillary Sheev, and the Carano and Murdoch families. They are also tremendously overwhelmed and appreciative of the outpouring of love and support from his fans. Something that makes it surprising is the fact that Jeremy was videoed operating the same snowplow just days before the accident. The sheriff gave a full report on the incident after Jeremy was flown to the hospital in critical condition. Provide some information regarding the accident involving Jeremy Renner and clarify some misinformation that is circulated. Myself and all the members of the Washoe County Sheriff's Office family and first responders send our thoughts and prayers to Mr. Renner, his family, and friends, and we share our sincere hope for a full and speedy recovery. With that said, here's what I can tell you today. On Sunday morning at 8.55 a.m., a 911 call was received for a 1050 or a crash involving a snowcat versus pedestrian. The subject had been run over by a snowcat in the area of Mount Rose Highway. At 857, the Washington County Dispatch advised some units and they started en route. Here's where I want to elaborate on the weather and the road conditions at that hour. The previous e evening, we had seen approximately three feet of snow fall in the Mount Rose area and multiple cars were abandoned on the multiple roads, including Mount Rose Highway. Additionally, while it was not snowing at the time of the accident, Mount Rose Highway was closed at that hour because of severe winter weather of snow which had not been yet removed from the highway. At 9.30, the first Washoe County Sheriff's Office unit arrived on scene. The delay again was a direct result of the weather, the traffic moving around abandoned cars in the roadway, and the closure of Mount Rose Highway. When the first Washoe County Sheriff's Office unit arrived on scene, Medical, Truckee Meadows Fire Protection District, and North Lake Tiles Fire Protection District uh, were on scene. At 9.37, care flight landed in the vicinity of Mount Rose Highway. At 9.56, Mr. Renner was taken via care flight to a Reno area hospital. Now for some details of the accident as we currently know them. I want to be clear here, as well as going on a major accident investigation, and we are handling it as we would any other major, major accident investigation. We are still conducting interviews and processing items from the scene. Based on our investigation, Mr. Rennert's personal vehicle, which was being driven by a family member, had become snuck in the snow near his home. Mr. Renner went to retrieve his piston bully, or snowcat, an extremely large piece of snow removal equipment weighing at least 14,330 pounds in an effort to get his vehicle moving. After successfully towing his personal vehicle from its stuck location, Mr. Renner got out of his piston bully to speak to his family member. At this point, it was observed that the piston bully started to roll. In an effort to stop the rolling piston bully, Mr. Renner attempts to get back into the driver's seat of the piston bully. Based on our investigation, it's at this point that Mr. Renner is run over by the piston bully. An eyewitness detailed seeing Mr. Renner getting into the piston bully and not seeing him again until the piston bully came to arrest in a pile of snow in front of his driveway. At this point in the investigation, we do not believe Mr. Renner was impaired at all, and we believe this is a tragic accident. As I mentioned earlier, this investigation is ongoing. However, we do not suspect any foul play. I want to repeat that. We do not suspect any foul play. We believe this was a tragic accident. Can anyone drive a, a snowcat? Is that something you need a license for? Or? That was, it was on a private road, so he can drive that snowcat. Uh, and in this instance, as Mr. Renner always does those private roads, he was being a great neighbor and he was plowing those roads for his neighbor because up there, again, they had three feet. We're going to refer to the family. I believe they made a statement earlier today um, on his uh, well-being. And again, all we want to say from all of us here as first responders, uh, we are keeping him and his family and friends in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, Mr. Renner was run over by the piston bully. There were some uh, neighbors 
that also brought out some towels to help. So, you know, I want to thank them as well for their quick response in helping Mr. Renner while all of us first responders were responding. But uh, first aid was rendered to him. Was it hard for the, the helicopter to land? given the conditions? It, it was, and that's why it took them a little bit. As I know there's a video already out there on social media. Uh, just because of the weather, all of the snow that we had just gotten, it, they had to find a safe landing zone for it. Uh, what I can tell you was uh, there was no doctor on scene. It was some um, good neighbors of uh, Mr. Renner's that came out with some towels and rendered some aid. Was he in when you guys arrived? Was he talking? He was speaking to the first responders. I've seen it reported that he suffered chest wounds and some, some orthopedic injuries. Can you comment on whether or not that part I don't know. You know? I'd have to refer you to the family and let them answer those or the hospital. Do you have any details on how common an accident with a snowcat is? No, not off the top. I, I would have to tell you probably there's always at least, uh, because this type of snowcat is one you'd see at ski resorts, um, that there's always these type of injuries or accidents um, that occur. But I, the exact number I do not know. So it was on his property, not on Mount Rose Highway? It was on a private road. On a private road, and then the neighbors that he helped dig out are all part of that private road? They're all on a private, a private road. Private road, so they, he never has to go on to public. No. And approximately how far from the summit, roughly, would that be? A couple miles. Who called 911? Uh, that one I don't know if it was the neighbors or his family members. All of this is happening just days after Jeremy posted about his new documentary coming up to Disney+. Plus. According to the description of the show, Renovations is a four-part series that embraces Renner's lifelong passion for giving back to communities around the world by reimagining unique purpose-built vehicles to meet a community's needs. After word of Jeremy's accident got around, celebrity peers took to Twitter to show their support and sympathy to Jeremy and his family at this tough time. James Gunn tweeted, My heart is with Jeremy Renner. Josh Gad tweeted, My God, praying for Jeremy Renner and his family. Tara Strong spoke about her past following of Jeremy as she tweeted, My sweet Jeremy Renner, loved you for decades, from a senior trip to the hashtag MCU, sending you and your closest healing love, light, and strength for a full recovery, hashtag Jeremy Renner. Simona seemed to be very distraught about the situation as she tweeted, Jesus Christ, Jer, couldn't even sleep all night. Anxiety times 5,000. Why all the bad things always happen to the most amazing, kindest, most loving people? Hang in there, Jeremy Renner. Please, everybody send your prayers. After multiple surgeries, Jeremy posted an update on Instagram by saying, Thank you for all the kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all. Danny Hatchard also took to Twitter to show his love and support for Jeremy. Danny tweeted, Thoughts with Jeremy Renner and his family. Wishing him a full and speedy recovery. While everyone waits to hear updates on Jeremy's condition and health, it's great to hear from the man himself as he recovers from his horrific accident and surgeries. Hopefully it's a speedy recovery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more crazy news and updates.